death penalty in the United States gradually declining. A shortage of lethal injection chemicals has contributed to declining use of capital punishment in the United States with a new report on Thursday noting only 39 executions this year. It is only the second time in the past two decades the annual number of inmates put to death has dropped below 40. The total represents a 10% reduction from last year. No further executions are scheduled in 2013. Twenty years ago, use of the death penalty was increasing. Now it is declining by almost every measure, said Richard Dieter, executive director of the Death Penalty Information Center, and the author of the report. The recurrent problems of the death penalty have made its application rare, isolated, and often delayed for decades. More states will likely reconsider the wisdom of retaining this expensive and ineffectual practice. The non-profit organization provides accurate figures in a range of analysis but opposes use of the death lethal injection in nine states. While the annual number of executions and death sentences continues to drop nationally overall, it remains a legally and socially acceptable form of justice for aggravated murder in 32 states. But just nine states conducted lethal injections this year, and two, Texas with 16 and Florida with 7, accounted for nearly 60 percent of the total. Texas is among the active death penalty states scrambling to find new lethal injection protocols after European-based manufacturers banned U.S. prisons from using their drugs in executions. New drug combinations. States have been forced to try new drug combinations or go to loosely regulated compounding pharmacies that manufacture variations of the drugs banned by the larger companies, according to an investigation last month by CNN's Deborah Fyrick. A pending lawsuit against Texas filed by several death row inmates and their supporters alleges the state corrections department falsified a prescription for pentobarbital using an alias. First woman executed. Among the high-profile capital cases this year involved Kimberly McCarthy, the first woman executed in the United States in three years. The former Dallas area resident was convicted of murdering her neighbor and in June became the state's 500th prisoner to die at the hands of the government since 1976 when the Supreme Court allowed capital punishment to resume. So far, 1,359 people have been put to death across the country since that time, using lethal injection, electrocution, gas chamber, hanging, and firing squad. That includes three federal prisoners. Spared for now was Georgia inmate Warren Hill, whose attorneys say he is mentally disabled. Courts earlier this year stayed three separate execution dates, one with just minutes to spare. The Supreme Court in March will hold oral arguments and decide whether the Florida scheme for identifying mentally disabled defendants in capital cases violates previous standards established by the High Court. Maryland abolishes death penalty. Maryland became the sixth state in as many years to abolish its death penalty, joining Connecticut, Illinois, New York, New Jersey and New Mexico. Eighteen other states have previously done so. Attorney General Eric Holder faces a tough decision in coming months whether to seek the death penalty in federal court for Boston Marathon bombing suspect Joe Cars Arneve. Across the country, capital sentences remain at historic lows, with just 79 so far this year. No sign of Supreme Court review. The justices in most cases continue to deny most requests for stays of executions, usually without any comment or a breakdown of which members of the nine-member bench might have granted such a delay.